Bonjour à tous, hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's taken me eight months to make this video, but unfortunately I've been busy with work and family and I haven't had time to make it. So without further ado, let's get into it. In this video, we will talk about the software solution to uh, breaking your BMS by uh, raising PF flag. So PF flag is basically short for uh, power failure. So when it raises a power failure, it senses either the power has gone below a certain limit and it um, shuts down the BMS so you can't use the battery again. Or if you disconnect the cells, in, when you change the cells, you have to disconnect the BMS. In the previous video, I tried, well, I didn't disconnect any power to the BMS, so I was always supplying power and that was the only way I could change the cells, uh, but it was a very difficult way to and complicated way to do. So this one is fairly easy and all you need is a Windows computer. This software doesn't work on Macs, it's uh, built on Windows. And a little interface chip, the CP112 HID interface chip. Uh, so basically what this does is talk to the chip via uh, SDA and SEL and the battery. So the BMS, uh, what happens with the BMS is <laughs> Um, it, it's, it's actually a safety feature, so if anything arises like a power failure or disconnection, short circuit, all those things, the BMS is actually programmed to safeguard the users and, and the battery itself. Uh, so doing this, be very cautious if your cells are swollen, replace them, and then use this to um, the battery back to life. Or if you have a battery that's been sapped for too long, where it, um, where it dis self discharged and then went into hibernation and then prolonged after hibernation where uh, it dropped below the uh, minimum uh, safe limit and then it threw a PF flag. This doesn't necessarily mean that the battery is bad. Uh, you can reactivate the BMS, charge the battery up and test it for yourself and see if the cells remain balanced, they don't get swollen and they hold capacity under load when you're flying. And do a test flight to test hover for the entire duration of the battery, discharge it and see if it works fine. But if the battery is bad indeed, change the cells and then use this to reactivate the BMS. Moving on, we will connect the interface to the battery. So the ground terminal or the ground pinout from the interface chip to the battery is any of the negative terminals or the negative pinouts. And then the next one is the SDA, which we connect on the corresponding points from the interface to the battery terminal and the uh, SCL again corresponding from the pinouts of the interface to the battery terminal. Once you have completed connecting them correctly please double check them because this is very important if you don't correct them cor correctly they would not function and this would not work. Once you've confirmed that everything's connected correctly to the corresponding pinouts, ground, um, SDA and SEL. You can connect the USB interface to a micro USB cable and then connect the USB 2 end of the cable to a USB port on your Windows computer or Windows laptop. Now we will open up the program. So opening the software, uh, hit connect and then it will confirm that it connects and then you read the information and then if it shows all the information it means that it's connected to the BMS and it's communicating with the BMS at which point you know that it's um, uh, the BMS is alive what you will then need to do is unseal and then use the PF2 function and then you can see now that the battery is happy and comes on so now we're basically done with that. I'm not too sure what Reset does. I'll have to see with the developer, but he seems to be busy and I'll just wait. Now the battery's usable, I'll plug it in the drone and confirm that the cells are all readable. All the information uh, from the BMS, the battery itself is readable by the app. And then we go for a test flight. So, I hope this video was helpful uh, for your projects and if you have any questions please write them down and I will try to answer them as best as I can. Until next time, fly safe and God bless.